Wednesday night. Steamboat Geyser Yellowstone National Park had a major eruption for the 29th time this year. That ties form a record for the most documented steamboat eruptions in a year. This is what Steamboat looked like when it went off this past spring. Now the Norris Skyer Basin, where Steamboat is located, is closed to the public right now. But after December 15th, when the winter season begins in Yellowstone, you'll be able to visit the geyser. Get there, you'll have to take either a snow coach or a snowmobile tour to Norris. And then you'll have to walk down snow-covered trails and boardwalks to see it. In the meantime, this is a big deal for scientists. You know, um, for scientists, they're excited. I mean, it, it, it's, I think everyone's excited, but in particular the scientists, because Steamboat is doing something that it hasn't done for quite some time. So for scientists, it's an opportunity to learn more about this really unique and what was random uh, a geyser that has now become not so random. Now we're told the geyser has been erupting every seven to ten days for about six weeks, so if you uh, keep that up, it'll set a new record. Steamboat, by the way, the tallest active geyser in the world. It can shoot water or steam 300 feet in the air, with water eruptions lasting from three to 40 minutes, while steam eruptions last hours or even days. We're going to take a quick break here on Montana's. I love that. I think bucket list for I, I want to be able to see record. that, too. One more, one more, yes. 